Hi friends, it's Grace and welcome back to another video. Today is just going to be a small-ish book haul, basically a fall book haul because it's been a little bit since I did one. Well, it's only been a couple of months, but all of those books were from my big trip to the UK and I've acquired a few more since then. So this is more like an update than, than anything. It's not huge, but I have some exciting things so I wanted to share. Now I have one that I'm going to start with because I'm not 100% sure whether I included it in a previous haul or not and that is Snuff by Terry Pratchett. I bought this because Ben and I uh, are buddy reading the series. We usually do one a month. I'm not sure if we're gonna shoehorn this into November or not because it's getting late but we'll be reading it soon regardless. So this was the only one left that I did not own yet. And while this is the new style of covers that they've been rolling out, I actually don't mind this. And I feel like it still goes well with the rest of the series. So I'll have up until Thud in the old style covers, and then I'll have just this one in the new, which is fine. And I am really excited to get to this. So hopefully this will be read very soon. Then next up, we have two books that were gifted to me. and. So so the first one is The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin, and this was so lovely, like kindly gifted to me by Ben. Um, basically, I think as a congratulations for having my paper published. Um, I did post a lot about this at the time, but for those of you who don't know, I did my master's in physiology and pharmacology, and I finished that uh, like in the fall of 2021. But even after I had finished and graduated, um, I was still working with my lab on making my research into like a paper that would then be published in a scientific journal. So that finally happened like a month or so ago. I don't remember the exact date, but this was a lovely congratulations from Ben. Um, and I did read this already and I liked it a lot. Um, and I do plan to finish the series sometime soon, hopefully by the end of the year. But um, this was an awesome surprise. And so I'm really, really appreciative of that. Now, the other book that was also gifted to me was bought from my Amazon wish list, and it did come from Amazon, but it was missing a note, and nobody actually came forward about this one. I posted about it on Instagram, but if this was you and you didn't see that I posted about it, um, that is Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty, and this is a gorgeous book, and I am so thankful to someone for gifting this to me, and I just feel bad that I don't know who it is, and I would love to thank you, so if you do happen to see this and you sent this to me, um, I, I do want to say thank you to you. I mean, thank you here and now, but if you message me and let me know, uh, I would love that. And I'm really, really excited to get to this now because I do have plans to read The City of Brass in the coming months. And I'm just, I'm glad to have the second one in the series. The series looks so good on the shelf, like it goes so well together and I'll probably buy myself the third one at some point as well. Now we are into the books that I have purchased myself in the past couple months, but uh, there are two of these books that were specifically, oh wait, no, actually three, that were specifically purchased because um, I had a housewarming party and a few members of my family so kindly like gifted me an indigo gift card. Um, they know what I like naturally. The fact that they come into my house and see a huge wall of books is a pretty good indicator, but um, I'll go with those three next that I bought myself. You Using that gift. So the first one, and this is further to the point that I would like to finish this series soon, is The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin, the third and final book in the Broken Earth trilogy. And after like receiving and reading The Obelisk Gate, I knew that I wanted to go buy this one because I didn't own it, and so I wanted to like finish out the series. The one thing that's sad about this is that I realized that originally I bought the fifth season from Book Depository, so it is an Unfortunately, a completely different height from this, these second and third books and I'm gonna have to decide what I want to do about that if anything but it just it oh, it's so sad to see it on my shelf when they're completely different heights however 
But this is a very nice like looking book and I'm excited to get to it. The next one that I bought with that gift card was Bunny by Mona Awad. And to be honest, like 75% of the reason for this, maybe more, is uh, based on Kayla from Books and Lala. And this is like, I believe it's like dark academia. Um, it's this girl who goes to university and there's like this clique of girls that are called the bunnies. And she ends up, I guess, like getting pulled in and there's I don't know, some dark themes going on. There's some dark things in the friend group. Um, I don't know, I, I'm not too worried about it. Like this just sounds like the type of thing that would be a really, really fun and entertaining read for me. Somewhat in the vein of In My Dreams I Hold a Knife, which I listened to on audiobook and very much enjoyed. So I'm hoping that this captures some of that same energy. Then next up, I decided that it was time, I'm close enough to finishing the first Law trilogy, that I allowed myself to buy The Trouble with Peace, the second book in the Age of Madness trilogy. I still need to decide what I'm gonna do about the standalones because I'm going to read this like world in the order that it's intended to be read in but i don't know what i want yet in terms of format but i now own a little hatred and the trouble with peace in these editions um i like the idea of like when a world has multiple series within it i like the idea of having those in multiple different formats except for the robin hob because they are so like well put together that i i like all of those in the same editions, but um, I, I really do like these, these trade paperbacks for the second trilogy, and so I've gone for this, and I don't know when I'll buy the third one, but I just decided I've, I've made enough progress, like, and I'm nearly done with Last Argument of Kings and loving it, so I'm excited for more Joe Abercrombie for sure. Then the final two books in the haul are one nonfiction and one fantasy once again. So we have The Body Keeps the Score by Bessel van der Kolk, uh, MD. And so I was listening to this on audio at my library and my hold on it ran out, but I loved the start of it so much. Like I found it so interesting, like the neuroscience and everything that I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy it. And after reading some reviews, um, I'm kind of hesitant now and I, I, I don't regret buying this. I still think that there's a lot of really, really interesting stuff in here and I still want to read it. But I did, not, did end up having to soft DNF it because my audiobook loan ran out. Um, I was busy, didn't have a chance to listen to more of it and it just it did run out. So I'll read this physical copy at some point, but I don't know when. Um, but I'm looking forward to it because there is really so much like interesting stuff in here about the brain and about trauma and responses to trauma and like, I don't know. I'm no expert in neuroscience, but this is very like scientifically geared. There are analogies to help like anybody understand what's going on, but at the same time, there is a lot of terminology and some heavy like biology in here. So it's definitely, perfect for someone like with my background in science, but it's a very interesting book so far to say the least, and I, I do want to get back to it. Then, last but not least for this haul, we have Flamefall by Rosaria Munda, and I was waiting forever for this to come out in paperback because I have a Fireborn in paperback and I wanted them to match, so I did not read it, I didn't even attempt to buy it until it was out in paperback, and I'm gonna end up doing the same thing with Fury Song. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the third book, right? Fury Song. But I'm excited to get to this. I just may need to like read a Sparks Notes version of Fireborn again because I remember the main things that happened, but I'm not sure if I remember clearly like what situation our characters were in when it ended. And maybe if I pick this up again, it'll be fine, but we'll see. Like, I'm really excited for this. And it's literally the only reason I waited for so long is for this paperback. And I really like the cover and I'm, I'm glad that I waited because I'm really glad that these match. But yeah, I'll get to this at some point and it'll be great. 
and I'm really looking forward to like completing this trilogy in the future. So that is it for this little book haul, eight books. Um, let me know what you think of them down in the comments below. If you've read them or if you have anything you think that I would really like, let me know if you think I should prioritize it. And yeah, um, that is gonna be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. I post new videos on most Mondays and Thursdays. And as always, I'll have my socials, Discord, and Patreon linked in the description if you're interested in any of that stuff. And with that said, I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.